What up everybody, Andrew here from Your Mom Industries, also known as Drew Scoop Sick Fu on the streets. So two weeks ago, Professor Oak showed us a video about Samsung's CES press conference from 2013. And they had their spotlight primarily on their new OLED technology and their showcase had their new OLED products. That's amazing. It really is. So in the past two years, OLED technology has made some great strides and advancements. And it looks like it's going to be replacing the LCD display pretty soon. So in the last two years, the Consumer Electronics Trade Show has featured multiple companies that have shown the potential and promising applications of OLED technology. With its ability to flex, it's nearly indestructible, the colors are brighter, the blacks are blacker, and the coolest part is, is that it's super thin and it's perfectly see-through, so it almost looks like some kind of wizardry. Alright, so here at Your Mom Industries, we've created a new innovative application powered by OLED technology to make people's lives more convenient. So before I address the problem we're trying to tackle, let me show you a video clip really quick. Alright, so obviously none of us are as crazy as that Brazilian guy on the motorcycle. But the facts are that that's not safe by any means. And also, the chances of motorcyclists getting into an accident per mile is 26 times more than that of a passenger vehicle, according to the U.S. Government and Insurance Institute of HighwaySafety.org. So our company is adamant about improving the overall safety of the motorcycling experience. Alright, so one of the biggest issues of riding a motorcycle is that the motorcycle helmet itself has such a limited view of the road. So the motorist's peripheral vision is greatly impaired, which is pretty much what the main problem is. Now in the past we've seen lots of examples of popular movies and video games of heads-up displays in one way or another and is a helpful tool to aid the main character or player. So systems like this are no longer make-believe or limited to fighter jets and things like that. So the solution we've come up with is a heads-up display with motorcyclists in mind, made possible with OLED technology. So the product we are proudly unveiling is the Tunnel Vision Moto Hood 1, or the Tunnel Vision Motorcycle Heads-Up Display Number 1. It displays information in real time to the rider, so he or she doesn't divert attention away from the road. And every second is crucial when paying attention to the road, especially in a motorcycle. So let's take a look at a functioning example of the Tunnel Vision heads-up display. Alright, so for the sake of this demo, I'm going to be using GTA 5 as a means of simulation for the Tunnel Vision system. Jimbo! Actually, it's Jizzle! Don't mind them, they're just my virtual family. Alright, so I'm going to go outside here. I'm going to walk towards the garage. Or the gay garage. Alright, so there's my motorcycle. Alright, so I chose this bike. Uh, specifically because it looked like that crazy Brazilian dude's bike from earlier. Alright, so as I zoom in on the handlebars, you can see that there's no real place to put my GPS or mount any sort of peripherals like that. Alright, so I'm going to put on my helmet safety first. Alright, so before I head out, I'm going to activate the uh, tunnel vision display here. Alright, so you can see I brought up some pretty basic readouts here, like miles per hour speedometer, kilometers per hour speedometer. Uh, tachometer and odometer, GPS. So let me bring up the GPS menu here, set a waypoint to where I want to go. Uh, the pier looks like a pretty good destination right there. Alright, so I set a waypoint. Um, some non-stop pop sounds good on the radio. And so as you can see, the uh, analog gauges on the bike sync up pretty well to the heads-up display digital readout gauges. Also, with the press of a button on the side of the helmet, I can bring up my phone uh, menu. I can go through contacts or read some text messages. And uh, I don't even have to do anything to be able to read incoming text messages. They just pop up on the screen. 
Your dog ate my condoms. Okay, I'll have to investigate that one later. Whoop, my bad. Alright, well, I'm driving like a maniac right now, simply for the sake of saving time. Alright, so it's pretty straightforward. I'm just following the purple line right there to uh, get to my destination. Uh, so we're currently developing the uh, rearview mirror application, so that's not ready yet, still in the developmental stages. You can see the mirrors in the game look like somebody covered the mirrors with foil. Alright, so here we go. Uh, here's our destination reached. Destination reached. Here. Bitch. Alright, so uh, that concludes the demo for the tunnel vision system. Alright, so I uh, just showed you guys one example of what the tunnel vision system can do. Now, you may be thinking, oh yeah, I've seen that somewhere else before on the market. Uh, but truthfully, our competitors such as Garmin and Navdi, uh, they just use little tiny projectors to project an image onto a screen or a piece of glass. Or they shove a small screen in the rider's face. Whereas tunnel vision systems display images wherever the user wants on the visor or the windscreen. And the user can move all the apps or gadgets anywhere they want to on the heads up display. So motorcycling helmets isn't the only application we're developing heads up displays for. We're also currently in the making developing applications for car windscreens with more advanced functions and also more user friendly software. We're also developing heads up displays for sports helmets and even military applications for combat scenarios with night vision and object detection as well as systems integration. Maximum strength. So with tunnel vision the possibilities are endless. I'm Andrew and thanks for watching.